Hey everybody, it's Tiff, Troy, we're back with episode four. I just looked to uh, to see the last time we updated and it was like, it's been over a month, which is crazy. But it's not that crazy because I looked at the video and I was clean shaven. No, I'm not. Leave has been fantastic. I'm on week five of nine. At the halfway point, by the time I actually shave this thing off, whoa. A lot of manliness going on in my chair. I don't think it's going to last much longer. Uh, I'll be fine. Excuse me, dog. So anyway, so it's December 11th. Um, in our driveway is a 15-foot U-Haul that has... It's So here's mistake number one. It's not time to play. We rented a 15-foot U-Haul um, not really knowing like how much stuff we were going to have. Knew. I may have screwed up. <laughs> Here's the deal, right? So in the military, you get movers to come. They come and pack all your stuff and they put it in. So they put it in a trailer. So when we moved from Pensacola to our current location, Colorado, they filled a semi trailer, yeah. like a huge semi trailer full our stuff. Now, mind you, our home was 3,600 square feet in Pensacola, so I get it. But And, and they half it, so like half of a semi was ours and half Still, was someone else's. Half of a semi was our junk, right? So we went and got the U-Haul yesterday because tomorrow in about, actually in about 10 hours, we're leaving for Utah. Um, not permanently, so we'll get into that in a second, but the U-Haul thing, Go get a U-Haul, 15 foot, which is like their medium truck. It's not that big. And we had three piles in the garage. We had- Tiny house. Stuff going to the tiny house, which was the smallest pile. Makes sense, right? We have Troy's office stuff. Look, <clears throat> I like where I work to be fun. There's Thanos gauntlet gloves and John Cena There's dolls. There's more in that pile than there was in the tiny house pile. Correct. Okay. All right. And then we have storage. Um, we loaded, and my, my youngest son Zane came over today. We loaded everything we own into this 15 foot U Haul in 30 minutes. Yeah. It was, it's done. It was, it was nothing. It, we don't have much of anything. And we kind of, it, it feels good though. Right. And we've kind of been selling and donating our stuff over the course of about three months now. Yeah. Garage sales and donations and and Craigslist and whatever. Let go and offer up. Oh, yeah. Here, let me, you mind? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, listen. There's these apps where you can sell your stuff to people in your geographical area. Mm. Look, the Let Go app. I was recommended this app Hey, Troy, you want to get rid of things? People will look at it. They'll come over the bike. Don't. Just don't. Don't Aurora-ish Colorado. I have wasted so much time. I We probably sold, not exaggerating, 50 items on this app. If that. For, every, for, for 50 items to be sold, I've probably had 200 people tell me they wanted it tell me a time they're going to either meet me or come to my home and I've scheduled my entire day based upon these people telling me they want this item and they just blow you off. And if you know us, then you know how extremely important punctuality and being or a man of your word Courtesy. Is. <laughs> At I'm, least, let, yeah, hey, I'm not going to be there. No message, no nothing. Like, and it, it got to the point, like, people will do it three or four times and then they block you on the let go app. I don't know whether they're just ashamed or embarrassed or because each time I'm just like, I'm on the app calling them out. Like, where are you at, dude? I, I have places to be, things to do. You're wanting to pick up this $4 pair of used tennis shoes and I've worked my afternoon around it and you know show. Point being, be really We're careful with these apps. We're not tennis shoes on the app. I mean, it's actually Whatever stuff, the stuff. But... I was just using an example. But that has been a major source of... Donate it. 
if it's, irritation. If it's if it's le worth less than hassle, fifty <laughs> bucks, yeah, donate it or maybe just advertise it on Facebook to your friends. But advertising to strangers and trying to work around it, it the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Yeah, it's, it's at all. He was really grumpy a lot. And so, Me? I'm never grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> so, just that's one of those things that we kind of wanted to share that we, we don't did, do it. And it wasn't great. I don't know if it's just our area. The best thing that we've had is Facebook Marketplace. And Craigslist was, was right. all right. My, too. Our, real, our real heartburn is with Let Go, the app Let Go. At least for me. And off, offer up. I mean, and I'm not They're saying anything the bad. I'm not saying anything bad about the app, the program. I mean, you know, kudos to them for for attempting. It's the individuals, and so yeah. don't don't waste all your time. Like you know, don't allow yourself to get worked up about it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really crazy is that I'm looking at us, looking at you, looking at us, <laughs> and. Right now, it looks really. It, our home looks exactly like what you're watching. Oh, thermostat. Tea. So right now, we're actually sitting on our bedroom bed yeah. in our living room. So, so we have a TV. Yep. Um, we've got our bed. We have a chair. A chair. A chair. Um, we have our Christmas tree. It's like this big. One foot tall. Yeah, with it's like the presents are bigger than mm -hmm. it. And my TARDIS tree ornament. Um, and nerd. Uh, so what? <laughs> so if you know what that is, you are a nerd. And I love you, and I respect you, and you are my people. So um, when when we started posting for the bedroom set. I had suggested that we just bring the bed down here and kind of start to literally live within a 400 to 350 square foot area to kind of help us get a little adjusted. And that's what we're doing right now. It's been, it's a lot of bumping into a lot of you uh, go, no you go, no you go. Um, it is gonna, it, it's a little, so yeah, that that leads us into kind of a segue into something that's happened since the last video that it was easily the toughest thing um, both of us had to do. So if you know us and if you don't, so we have a lot of animals. We love pets. We have our dog Tink, um, Mona a cat, Jade a cat, Cleo a cat. Three cats, one dog, two humans. All girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why he's grumpy. <laughs> anyway. So we knew going into this tiny home thing, that there just wasn't going to be enough room um, for all of these living, breathing species. So uh, a little bit back, about five days now, whatever. Um, less than a week ago, we had to rehome two of our pets. And so... Cleo and Jade, um, I, I don't even like cats for the most part, but they've been a part of our family um, for years, you know, uh, going all the way back to the beginning of our time in Pensacola is when they joined us. So they've been, they were part of us and some of you may think adversely for us doing that. Um, I assure you where they're at they're they're going to be fine it's going to be fine but for us like it's the not things okay. no it's, it's not okay. at all like getting rid of the stuff um even stuff with sentimental value at the end of the day it's just stuff because we know why we're doing this there's a purpose behind it there's a motivation behind it and, it's, and it is and always has been uh to go see the world instead of owning stuff um but for those of you that are watching this and following our yeah. kind of journey here, if you have pets, um, one, if you can figure out a way for them to stay with you in a tiny home, great. Four of them, you're 
you're going to have, you're going to run into some issues and you're going to have to start thinking like, is it going to benefit, is it benefiting you or them and bringing that, them along? And that was, um, that's ultimately the thought process behind it was that in such a, a small condensed area, if it was just me by myself, then it may have been a different story. It'd be a lot of arguing amongst the girls, but um, I would have forced it to work. <laughs> um, Four animals and two humans, 350 square feet. Not only would we have been miserable, they would have, they been, would have been miserable too. Because in addition, these two cats were a majority of outside cats. Well, <clears throat> it, it's just not going to happen where we're at. Um, but we're blessed in the fact that we had a place to take them. They're going to be fine. Um, but it was definitely, that was, uh, that was a bad, bad day. Um, that really did suck. And people that know me like, Troy, seriously, it's cats. Yeah, he was always yelling at them anyway. I'll yeah. tell you, it, I, love, I love those cats. I, you know, they're part of the family. Um, but here we are. We're kind of already dwindled down. We're doing a mock tiny living. And tomorrow's the real deal. We're going to jump on our 15-foot U-Haul. We're going to drive to Utah. We're going to be there for three days. We're going to meet the people that own the land that are hosting mm -hmm. us. Um, kind of get the rundown of some in and outs as far as like, how do we get an address and a mailbox? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Things that, it's things that you're going to need to be walked through. Somebody through. to walk you through. Um, so if, if you're not like renting a... a, a, a an actual lot. An actual lot. You know. Which we're not. So we're being hosted on someone else's lot, which that's a whole different story. We'll get into all that when we actually get there. But we're going to be there for three days, drop off our stuff, come back, spend a little over a week back here in Colorado, um, spend Christmas with the kids. And then on the morning of the 28th, we are permanently heading to the land of... Uh, Tall. Utah's. Onians. Salt Lake Cityans? No, because we're not in Salt Lake. We're, we're south. U Utahnians. We don't know. We're going to call them Utahnians and see how it works. But, but I did, I have seen, you know, because like the internet world is always watching us on our phones, that there's all kinds of stuff that, that fun stuff that keeps popping up and, and beautiful sites and, and, Things to go and see in Utah. So. Speaking of sites, something I, I want to share. Oh. Because oh. we've been sharing what we're going to do with all of our time and all this money that we're saving. Yep. So our first trip's already set. We're going to Hawaii next summer. But the second trip is my pick because Hawaii was her pick. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to Scandinavia as the second trip. In, in the summer. Yeah, because cold <laughs> sucks and yes. we're sick of it. So we're going to go visit um, the land where Vikings roamed. Catsup. Mm -hmm. I, 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 love, I love the Viking era. I love history. I definitely love the show. So we're going to go visit that area and go through all that history and, and land and see all the landmarks. So anyway, first international trip, Kattegat. And? Denmark. Yes. And and um, in the spirit of tiny home, tiny living, we're doing tiny gift giving. And in order to be able to go and do that. Here's a dollar. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> no, we decided that, um, we decided a while back that this year we weren't going to buy each other any gifts. No things. No, yeah, no items. And now for 20 two years Troy has never done what he has said he's always managed to sneak something in and then of course the kids are like well dad got you something so then I have to go and buy him something anyway so we did legitimately agree no gifts this year agree agreed passports passports instead so that for I know you're probably thinking how do you guys not have passports yeah. you're 28 years old respectively we don't. Anytime I've traveled internationally, you've been with the military, and all you need is your ID. And I just don't go anywhere. Passports for Christmas. 
So we'll, we might do some other updates. Um, if as you, we're traveling. As we're traveling. And we'll while we're in. there, we'll post some pictures of the tiny home. Um, it's had a, a complete makeover done on it. Uh, painted the whole nine uh, to match the community that it's, that it's within. Yeah. Um, so if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you'll probably see some pictures or some random posts. But we'll try to be more frequent with the videos. Um, anything else before we cut this one out? Um, so we went over the debacle with the, the sales, the, the pet rehoming, the gift giving, the time period in which we're doing things. I think we'll pretty much update Okay. Well, that's it. We will see you guys on the road here over the next few days. And again, post questions below if you have it. If you're thinking about doing something like this, let us be your guinea pigs. We don't mind answering questions. As great as an experience as this has been, it's been super hard and we're learning Mary. on the fly. So learn from us, ask questions. All right, guys, Merry Christmas Eve-ish. Bye.